Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. We hope you're enjoying your 2019 thus far. Oh, I'm Sarah, this is Clint. Hey. We're here to answer your questions. So last episode, we were, we were kind of matching. We were borderline. This episode, we're definitely matching and I have to say something about it. Are you offended? Are you upset that we're matching? No, no, I don't care. Okay, okay. Okay, I mean, I don't care either. I think it's really cool. I think it's nifty. I think it's swell. It wasn't intentional, is the thing. Like, we show up today, we're both wearing black shirts. It just happened. Well, I wear black a lot, so if you wear black, there's a good chance that that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like black shirts. I feel super cool when I wear black. I feel like kind of intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, so you're taking it the other way, like, like you're the weakest person ever. Yeah, it kind of felt like that. <laughs> ah, I, I assure you there's weaker. <gasps> and your spirit's strong, so you're, you know. Yes, it is. Yes, and that's intimidating. Like, somebody might not know, like, you know some kung fu or jiu-jitsu yes, or something. Yes, I do, and I rap. See, now you lost it. Uh <laughs> right there. You had to talk about rap for that. Don't we have some questions? <laughs> we have questions. God. Yay. Her and this rap, like, goal of hers. I'm sorry. It's, I just have rap fever. Okay. Kenneth says, should the amount of torque you use when installing a barrel nut change depending on the caliber? Does a 6.5 Grendel require more torque than a 5.56 or 300 blackout? This is a great question. Kenneth, we thank you for it. Mr. Hansen. Okay. What do you have to say? Yeah, the caliber doesn't matter. Um, on a standard barrel nut, I think it's between 30 and 80 foot-pounds or 85 foot-pounds, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, I, and I think when you read that, if you look up that spec, you know, it's, it's kind of saying, well, with, if, it, if you time your barrel nut properly and it gets to 30 foot-pounds, it's okay. I don't think that's the case. I think you want to go to 30 and then pass that get your timing down okay so that one's kind of we've done a video about it in the past and I talked about not measuring it kind of using uh, you know your basic feel you know to not break something basically but that is the spec for a standard barrel nut but there's a bunch of manufacturers out there of rails uh, that take barrel nuts and usually there's some directions guiding you to how much torque value to put on them um, but from caliber to caliber no that doesn't matter yes Mr. Hansen I have a question sure uh, uh, why would you have to time a barrel nut? Well, Is like on a... Nut, not net, nut. Well, like on a standard, on a standard barrel nut, the gas tube has to go through the barrel nut and the delta ring assembly. Um, other barrel nuts have like a notch cut out for that gas tube to slip through as well, or else it would have to kind of jump over the barrel nut and get the receiver, and that's not good. Um, others, they need to be timed properly for s screw installation onto the, into the barrel nut through the rail. So, there's all sorts of reasons why, but those are a couple. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. You did a fantastic job. I hope so. Thank you so much to our friend Kenneth for your fantastic question. Guys, if you want to see Mr. Hansen answer one of your questions, just comment below. And if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we do a new video. We have new Q&A videos every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. And uh, we sure can't wait to see what you guys send us. And we hope you have a wonderful 2019. I'm just going to keep talking about it for the next several weeks. Bye. Bye.
Uh, that seems like a dangerous idea. Let's do that. No. Let's everybody type in some comments and try to offend them. No, please. And leave your addresses right below it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway.